Right, so let's finish up here with sphere and surface area. Once again, our formula for surface area right here, so four pi r squared. So we got number two here to do. Surface area uh, is equal to four pi r squared, and then just plug in the information we know. So four times 3.14 times our radius, 2.2 .2 squared. Um, and just remember, order of operations, exponents does happen first, so make sure you square the 2.2 .2 to get 4.84. And then you can just multiply the other three numbers. So our surface area will be 60.79. We should probably put some squiggles so yeah so that's all there is to it just plug it in um, and figure it out all right so last one here uh part b make sure the question says find the volume um, i'm also going to do surface area just to get kind of one of those problems done um, but feel free to to work on that a little bit so pause the video if you need to go ahead and practice this one on your own and then resume the video and you'll see the answer all right, there is a lot of math on here, um, so hopefully you did your best. Um, first things, just a couple things to notice is with our sphere here, if our radius of this from the middle to the outside is 39, then that works just like a radius with a circle. Every single point from that middle to the outside is gonna be equal. So since this is 39, this is also 39. And that's gonna give you the height of the cone. Um, which would be the 39, 81 minus 39, which gives you 42. So when we're doing volume, um, it's not too difficult to just go through the steps, plug everything in, do the math, get the answer. So just a reminder, volume of a cone is the area of the base times height divided by three. So we have our area of the base right here. We have our height, which I just kind of explained. It's the 81 minus 39. And then you plug it into the formula and you get 66,863.16. Um, volume of the hemisphere is just going to be your four-thirds pi cubed, but since it's just a half of sphere, divided by two at the end. So plug once again, plug everything in. R square or R cubed, I'm sorry, becomes 59,319. So just multiply 4 times 3.14 times 59,319. Get this. Then do the division by 3. Then do the division by 2. And you get 124, comma, 174.44. Um, and then the last thing to find the volume of this together, we just add the cone plus the hemisphere. So cone plus hemisphere is going to give us a final answer of 191,037.6 feet cubed. Uh, surface area is a little bit tougher. Remember with surface area, we have to use slant height of a cone, not the height of it. Um, we want the slanted height. So we do have to do Pythag to get that answer. Um, I did my Pythag over here. So 39 squared plus 42 squared equals our slant height squared, uh, which comes to 57.31. So my uh, L is 57.31. Uh, circumference of this circle right here, just 2 pi r, which we get 244.92. Um, so then just plugging it into the formula, P times our slant height, which is 57.31, plus 2 times our area of the base, 477.5.94. And then divided by 2 gives us an area of surface area of 11,794.13 for the cone. Um, and then the hemisphere is where it gets a little bit um, maybe weird, something that we're not used to. Um, and if we think about a sphere and a hemisphere, it's just half of it, right? So does a sphere have a base? And the answer to that is no. So when I find my surface area of a hemisphere, all you have to do for this problem is cut it in half. Um, so when I do it, I get 95, uh, I'm sorry, 9,551.88. And then to find my total surface area, I add these two things together, which gives me 21,346.01. And then you have to subtract off the bases. And this is where it gets interesting with the hemisphere. Um, does a sphere have a base? Which is no. So I didn't have to subtract off a base of a hemisphere because there isn't one in a sphere. Whereas with a cone, there is one. So I did have to subtract off um, the area of the base right here. 
So I did that minus 4,775.94 for a grand total of 16,570.07 feet squared. Um, so keep it in mind, if you were to actually find the surface area of just a hemisphere, you would need to do this formula divided by two, like we did, but then you'd have to add in the base of the hemisphere, since that's part of a hemisphere, but it's not part of a sphere. So just keep that in mind um, as far as that goes. So you have these problems to do. Uh, we have actually finished with unit 10, which is awesome. Tomorrow and Thursday is going to be a review, and then Friday you will have your unit 10 test.